you'll know if you've seen quality of life survey presentations before, that we pull together a whole bunch of different variables into an overarching quality of life index. We rejigged the index this time around, and we then brought that new approach to the index back across different across previous quality of life surveys. This time around, the index is based on 33 questions in seven different dimensions, seven different areas of concern. And you can see here that these uh, different dimensions, these areas of concern, are weighted in the index. And the largest weight in the index goes to the services dimension, and then I'll tell you what these uh, dimensions are in a second. It's not so easy to read this particular diagram on the screen. Um, you, you can see that the other dimensions uh, uh, decrease uh, in, in weighting um, uh, 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 in, the, in, the, in the overall measured quality of life. This is the answer to the poser that uh, Julia shared with you earlier. How has overall measured quality of life in terms of this index made up of 33 questions in seven different dimensions shifted this time around? Uh, in 2013-14, uh, we saw an overall score out of 100 of 61. It increased gradually from, from 61 to 63 and again to 64 over the last two quality of life surveys. This time around, we've seen a drop of three points from 64 down to 61 out of 100. Now, that might not seem like a lot, um, but when you put 33 questions together, very small changes in the overall measure, this combined index, translate into big measured changes. And I can assure you that an overall drop of 64 down to 61 is a very, very serious weakening in the overall measured quality of life in Gauteng. Of course, you can take heart from the fact that it's not less than 60. You would be much more concerned if that was the case. But 64 to 61 is a big drop. We can then look at the various dimensions to see which of the different areas are driving overall measured quality of life up and which are driving it down. Health, the bank of questions that make up that dimension, uh, this is relatively stable. Socioeconomic status, as Julia has relayed to you, has seen a significant dip. Safety, and this is largely due to that question, have you actually experienced crime over the last year, has actually increased. Life satisfaction, this has got to do with those questions of how do you feel about yourself, yourself, yourself and your immediate social safety net, friends, family, etc., etc., is down. Participation is held static. Services, as we noted, um, has not dipped. In fact, there's been improvement there. But the big drop, the big factor driving down the overall measured quality of life is government satisfaction from 51 all the way down to 40 this time around. And again, that's translated into that not insignificant drop from 64 to 61. We can look at this across the different municipalities. I'm not going to talk about the detail here. It'll be in the report. But just to note that every single municipality, without exception, has seen a drop uh, um, in, in many cases by over three points. Um, we're interested in how this breaks down with other demographics. Uh, very worryingly for us, uh, there has been a, a decline uh, in the overall measured quality of life on the index for women. Uh, there was a, a, a parity previously, um, uh, but here we're seeing males with a higher quality of life than females this time around. Um, and lastly, and most worryingly, if we break it down by race, we know this from previous quality of life surveys, Africans are always less than whites, um, but very, very concerningly, even here, we've seen a drop of three points for whites from 74 to 71. The bigger concern is that the drop of Africans has pushed their measured quality of life, 62, down to 59 at a lower level than it was in 2013-14. And really what that's saying is that there's a deepening inequality um, in quality of life uh, across the different population groups uh, as shaping up uh, under this extraordinary set of circumstances that we face.